This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the standard electrode potential. We'll start with a definition. The standard electrode potential is the electrode potential in volts measured under standard conditions relative to the standard hydrogen electrode. Standard conditions are solutions with a concentration of 1 mole per decimeter, gases at a pressure of 100 kilopascals, and a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Let's look at an example. On the left we have a zinc half cell which is composed of a zinc electrode in a 1 mole per decimeter solution of zinc 2 plus ions. The zinc half cell is connected by a wire and a salt bridge to the standard hydrogen electrode on the right. We also have a voltmeter in the circuit which measures the electrode potential of the zinc half cell. Because zinc is higher in the activity series than hydrogen, the electrons flow from the zinc half cell to the standard hydrogen electrode. Here we have the equations for the reactions that occur at the electrodes in each half cell. In the zinc half cell we have the oxidation of zinc to form zinc 2 plus ions. In the standard hydrogen electrode we have the reduction of hydrogen ions to form hydrogen gas. And here we have the overall equation for the reaction. As you can see we have a reading on the voltmeter of negative 0.76 volts. This is the standard electrode potential of the zinc half cell. Let's look at one more example. On the left we have a copper half cell which is composed of a copper electrode in a 1 mole per decimeter solution of copper 2 plus ions. The copper half cell is connected by a wire and a salt bridge to the standard hydrogen electrode on the right. We also have a voltmeter in the circuit which measures the electrode potential of the copper half cell. Because copper is lower than hydrogen in the activity series, the electrons flow from the standard hydrogen electrode to the copper half cell. And here we have the equations for the reactions that occur at the electrode in each half cell. In the copper half cell we have the reduction of copper ions to form copper metal. In the standard hydrogen electrode we have the oxidation of hydrogen gas to form hydrogen ions. And here we have the overall equation for the reaction. If we look at the reading on the voltmeter we have a voltage of positive 0.34 volts. This is the standard electrode potential of the copper half cell. So let's have a summary. When a half cell with a metal above hydrogen in the activity series is connected to the standard hydrogen electrode, the electrons flow from the half cell to the standard hydrogen electrode and the electrode potential is negative. The example we looked at is the zinc half cell connected to the standard hydrogen electrode and that gave us a voltage of negative 0.76 volts, which is the standard electrode potential of the zinc half cell. The standard electrode potential values can be found in the data booklet. All these metals are above hydrogen in the activity series, therefore they have a negative value for the standard electrode potential. When a half cell with a metal below hydrogen in the activity series, is connected to the standard hydrogen electrode, the electrons flow to the half cell from the standard hydrogen electrode and the electrode potential is positive. In the example we looked at, which was a copper half cell connected to the standard hydrogen electrode, the voltage produced was positive 0.34 volts, which is the electrode potential of the copper half cell. In this table we have the standard electrode potential values of all the species below hydrogen in the activity series. As you can see they all have a positive value for the standard electrode potential. 